How many modern terrestrial predators do you know? Five? Twenty? And what about predators in the water? How many of them can you name? Shark, crocodile, piranha, and that's about all, yeah? Water seems to be a much safer place than a wild jungle or a desert. But it wasn't always that way. Millions of years ago, the rivers and the seas were filled with top predators that could make even a T-Rex stutter. We'll tell you about 12 extinct underwater villains, and you'll have to guess which one of them isn't real. In this video, you'll find out who ate sharks for breakfast, what monster was heavier than the statue of liberty. So what underwater predator was the deadliest in the prehistoric era? First, let's talk about the monsters that dominated the sea despite their small size. The first dinosaurs appeared around 240 million years ago, but this particular marine predator was as ancient for them as the dinosaurs themselves are for us. Anomalocaris, the first marine serial killer, began its hunt half a billion years ago. Today its size seems relatively modest, just up to 40 centimeters in length. But among other marine inhabitants, this one looked like a giant. Anomalocaris had two appendages to capture its prey. Each of its eyes had 16,000 lenses through which the predator could notice the slightest movement around it. Anomalocaris is similar to a young pit bull that jumped into your swimming pool. But it was just a start. The first try of evolution, so to say. Ten million years ago, the mega piranha wreaked havoc in the waters of South America and bit everything it could swim to. The mega piranha was one and a half meters long and weighed around 10 kilograms. Today, even the largest piranhas are four times smaller than their great-grandmother. One pack of mega piranhas could eat a whole truck of wrapped double cheeseburgers together with the body of the truck in just five minutes. And now you'll see a predator that at first glance seems to be a real cutie. Jarkvara is a 4-meter dinosaur that lived 170 million years ago somewhere near Scotland. It looked like the love child of a dolphin and a crocodile with kind eyes and deadly jaws. Just like that superhero from the second part of Suicide Squad called Polka Dot Man. Looks fun, but brings only pain. However, the following predators look like absolute monsters indeed, and each of them can eat a whole giraffe. What predators became larger and scarier thanks to evolution? 380 million years ago, nature created the Dunkleosteus. The Dunkleosteus was up to 6 meters long and weighed 1 ton. His jaws resembled orc swords from the Lord of the Rings trilogy. There were blades instead of teeth that could bite through any animal of that time. Its deadly jaw opened just 20 milliseconds before the attack and closed with the same force as that of an enormous crocodile. Anyone would be instantly sucked straight into its mouth. If you tried scuba diving in an ancient sea, you'd probably take the next predator for a rock. Camaroceros is the largest mollusk in Earth's history. It lived 470 million years ago. The ancestor of the squid lived in a shell and grew to 10 meters long, which is a little less than two Asian elephants. It was equipped with tentacles and a powerful beak capable of cracking through any shell. If Camaroceros lived today, it could easily attach a motor to its shell and ram into bathys caves. But let's move on to shallow water. Crocodile Dundee loved hunting reptiles, but for a Danosuchus, an Australian hunter would be hardly different from a mosquito. That crocodile lived 80 million years ago and terrified inhabitants of both land and water. The largest males grew up to 10 meters and weighed more than 8 tons. Danosuchus was equipped with sharp, banana-sized teeth. The force of its bite was more powerful than that of most predatory dinosaurs. This creature would never let you turn it into a purse. All the predators we've seen have one thing in common. They can become a snack for the next even more enormous sea monsters. What size should you be so that even giant land dinosaurs are afraid of you? To get a promotion among predators, you first had to become a Chronosaurus. 
That beast lived in the waters of Australia about 140 million years ago. During its life, it grew up to 11 meters, and its skull was 2 meters long, like an average basketball player. The side teeth were 7 centimeters long, while the front teeth were around 30 centimeters. Chronosaurus weighed up to 12 tons, which is even more than a T-Rex. With such a size, it easily hunted turtles, sharks, and plesiosaurus, while surfers would be just toothpicks for this monster. If underwater creatures wanted to frighten their children, they used not a monster under the bed, but a tylosaurus for that purpose. It's a top predator and a distant ancestor of monitor lizards. It lived about 90 million years ago. Scientists were lucky to dig up a 16-meter skeleton of the tylosaurus. It turned out that the tail took half of its length. With such a tool, you can easily break a boat in half. Its body structure turned Tylosaurus into a fast swimmer that had no need to wait for hours in an ambush for its prey. He didn't chew his prey either, but just swallowed it like modern monitor lizards do. Putehuladon, in its turn, hunted somewhere in the Arctic about 110 million years ago. An adult male grew up to 19 meters and weighed 130 tons. Its body structure and muscles allowed Putehuladon to jump up to 7 meters out of the water and grab flying pterodactyls. Putehuladon's fins had sharp plates on their ends capable of cutting prey right in the air just like in the Fruit Ninja game. Did you guys get scared? And that's not even the most vicious child of nature, by the way. If the legendary Atlantis existed, the following three predators would have made its locals flee to land. What animal was the absolute despot of the ancient seas? Basilosaurus, the bronze medalist of our horde championship, lived about 40 million years ago. Its name means a royal lizard in Greek. Males were up to 21 meters long. Their power and teeth were enough to attack other whales and sharks. Basilosaurus had an interesting feature. Instead of a tail, it had 30 centimeter legs. It's entirely possible that its prey was just dumbfounded because of those ridiculous legs, and that let the Basilosaurus easily capture it. The second to last place in the list of sea tyrants goes to Liopleurodon, that lived 160 million years ago. In Latin, its name means smooth teeth, although other marine animals most likely called its teeth daggers of death. This lizard probably grew up to 25 meters and weighed 150 tons, which is heavier than the steel structure of the Statue of Liberty. Just imagine that a bowling lane comes to life and clicks its pin-like teeth in front of you. That's what a large male Liopleurodon looked like. It's time to see the leading marine predator. Meet the Liviatan Melville. It lived 10 million years ago and could be considered the real ambassador of the devil. 17 and a half meters long, the Liviatan Melville became the top underwater predator thanks to its teeth, the largest among vertebrates. They reached 36 centimeters in length and 12 in diameter. The muscles connecting the skull and the lower jaw were so developed that the predator could easily bite through a subway car. Its diet included dolphins, seals, sharks, and even whales. If this underwater venom was alive today, we'd never even try fishing on boats or traveling on yachts. As we said at the beginning of the video, one of the 12 predators mentioned here isn't real. Have you guessed which one? Write your answer in the comments, and the next time you chill at the seaside, remember how good it is that of all the predators that have ever lived on Earth, there's only a small, almost harmless shark left snapping its teeth.